I don't want to look. The mirror's right to my left. So I'm so scared. Ready? Oh, my God. <laughs> You're too old to be doing that. Oh, my God. I bet you sucks ass, so it's amazing to watch him. All right, welcome back to the night shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late and so are we. It's time to clock in. We are currently still in Amsterdam. Shiphole International Airport. Should be called Shithole International Airport. Never seen anything like this before. Tents outside with hundreds of people lined up. We're standing there, I'm like, dude, we're gonna miss this flight. Basically crying, because we're gonna get stuck in fucking Amsterdam. And I hear, Mike! And I look up, bro, and there's this burly ass, Tattooed oh, call for all passengers traveling on the Giant tattooed fucking customs guy with the gun and everything. He goes, he goes, come here. And I'm like, oh shit, dude, I'm going to jail for the rest of my fucking life. I'm going to prison, dude. And he goes, I'm a huge fan of the night shift. He goes, you do not wait in line in the Amsterdam. Fucking pushes us through the customs. Here we are. We're flying to Turkey, Istanbul. Currently in business class on Turkish Airlines. And look who I see somehow in a pretty expensive business class cabin. Balenciaga bag, first class to Hi, Istanbul. Hi, what do you guys think of this more Emma Chamberlain style content? Do you like this like calm, relaxing music? <laughs> seems, a little, seems a little downtrod. You probably wondered for a long time, why does Mike always wear the hat? My hair is thinning, I'll be completely honest. I could have spent fucking 20, $30,000 like everybody else does to do in LA. I'm getting my whole shit done like in the back and a little bit in the front for like two, $2,000 US. When we got to the airport, they were gonna send us to the hotel in like a shared car. I'm like, dude, like how much for you to drive us for the entire night? He told us it was like 1700 Turkish lira. And we did the math, $100. So now we have the Sprinter for the whole night. As a first impression of Turkey, I like that a lot. Doing David's favorite thing in the whole world right now, bop. it's called bopping. I have talked about this before. He likes to bop early in the morning. He has coffees, he walks around. Tonight I'm bopping with them. The Greeks say they invented it. The Turks say they invented it. And it's like this huge battle. But if you've never had baklava, dude, you have to have baklava. It is so good. Look at all these different flavors. Different flavors. Look at those guys right there. It's like 9.45. It's a pretty late city. It's a Monday night. People are still cooking right now. But I just want to warn you right now that it's not a picture. Oh, it's for your vote. Yes, for the yes. She started posing like it was a picture. So we're with some real independent women right now. Yes. Who have been getting in trouble all day because of how they're dressed, by the way. David, get up close. This, this is, I don't know any of this stuff. Is. The last time you were on it, we were also in another foreign place. We were, in France. In Saint-Tropez. Crystal's about to shoot some booty pics with David. Say what's up, Crystal. Hey guys. You've actually been on a lot of night shifts. They're gonna start thinking that something's going on here. There's something important I wanna to talk to you guys about tonight. And I don't really know how to say it exactly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Right now we are driving to Asia. I'm not kidding. We're driving in a fucking tunnel to fucking Asia. I've said, I, yes, I've said that. So if you're watching this right now, and you think that it's not possible to drive under an ocean between Europe and Asia, you're wrong. Dude, I'll show you right now, dude. Look what David is doing as he films. He's sniffing fucking glue, bro. He's fucking sniffing glue in an underwater tunnel between Europe and Asia. Dude, a lot of weird fucking shit happens, bro. This is not that weird. You sniffing glue in an underwater tunnel between fucking two continents. To go to a place where they're gonna rip a piece of my flesh off to stick fucking hairs in my scalp because I'm balding. If you don't think that's weird, David? What do you think is weird? Ennis doesn't understand any English. Me and him have only communicated through Google Translate the entire time. Bugün harika bir iş çıkardın Enes. Çok teşekkür ederim. Gerçekten takdir ediyorum. İşte hizmetiniz için küçük bir şey. Çarşamba günü görüşürüz. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I'll see you on Wednesday. Wednesday. Yes, okay. Okay, here we are, hair surgery day. We're in the van right now on the way from the hotel with someone who just had the surgery done yesterday. We're not gonna show him, obviously. And he said the main thing that hurts the most is the anesthesia. So they like jam needles into your head to like kind of make your whole head numb. 10 minutes of it. Were you like, ah, oh, that, that kind of pain? Like screaming or no? Uh, screaming! Yeah. Me and David were just talking about this. We're kind of in like a send it mentality right now. Like. I don't know why I think it might be. I think I'm going through like a midlife crisis because like I just don't give a shit. The other thing is I'm gonna try to negotiate my a brand deal with them when we get there because I 
don't really want to talk to, about, about the name of the facility unless they pay me. Maybe you'll find out where I went, maybe you won't. Depends on how good of a negotiator I am this morning. <laughs> We're at Smile Hair Clinic. It's not easy to find a place in Istanbul, Turkey, and the doctor is right. The doctor was right here. At some point, I'm assuming he's gonna walk. Oh, there he is. I meet this guy, the first thing he says to me is, what did you say to me? It's Adam Sandler. I think he's a twin brother. How many of these hair surgeries have you done? It's around 3,000 already. Are you guys like the champions of the of the Istanbul hair scene? Not the champions, but I think we are good team. You got a humble, a humble doctor over here. Who's the best barber? <laughs> oh my God, dude, she's moving fast. I don't know, man. Dude, she just didn't even care at all, bro. Tell her to give me a good lineup. Can you tell her to uh, give me a fade? I don't know. I was being Oh, no. Dude, my barber's gonna be so mad. Could you show her a picture of Drake? Tell her to go to like a one here, then like a half, and like really blend it I in. Don't, I don't think that's what she does. Feels my like, head is cold already. You're gonna, you're gonna feel the breeze around. Ma'am, have you ever seen Drake? Do you know what Drake looks like? Where he has like the... Drake, tell <laughs> no. Okay, can we? How about Adam Sandler? Why are you laughing, David? It's very interesting. You have a small head. No, don't tell me I have a small head. So I don't look like Vin Diesel. I see Greg Paul coming out. Greg Paul. <laughs> you look at that Really, it's not bad. I don't want to look. The mirror's right to my left. I'm so scared. Ready? Oh <laughs> my god. Okay, so just like imagine a bunch of like surgery and like bloody stuff that I can't show you on YouTube going right here. 93% male audience watching this. I know you guys are gonna deal with this shit at some point or another. Probably 10 years ago, I started getting thin in the back. Not like crazy, not like bald, not skin, but thin. This seemed like a good solution. I wanted to go to Turkey, I wanted to see the country, and I wanted to try something that I think that most people out there who are working can afford at some point. It's not super expensive, they do basically your whole fucking head for $2,000, that includes the hotels, it includes everything. As far as the actual surgery is concerned, the anesthesia is painful, they stick a full needle into your fucking head in different spots, and then they go and actually pull the hairs out from the donor area. So I got 4,500 grafts done. So they individually pulled out 4,500 fucking hairs from my head. Then they go and cut 4,500 little incisions in your scalp. And then they stick 4,500 hairs individually into those holes. Anybody that you've ever seen do it, this is how they do it. It takes a long time, but the results are pretty good and it's super worth it. The only thing that kind of sucks is now I'm wearing this fucking ridiculous fucking helmet around uh day one after surgery i'm already back out on the streets dude eating baklava right now we're in a place called toxin square big turkish flags blowing there's a lot of like shops and stuff david called it like the Times square of turkey i actually don't know if that's true but... he might be lying to you guys he's met this lounge right now uh we got the fruit infused hookah the watermelon juice look at the view show them the view it is a beautiful beautiful city a great place, a great culture. If you ever want to, it's getting a little harsh. You might have to. <laughs> you might have to change the rock. And trust me, I know all about smoking rock. <laughs> all right, now you make an experience horrible. Turkey, not exactly a place that's known for their cheeseburgers, but I did have a lot of people DMing me about a place called The Grungy. It's a little tiny shop that's like in the basement. It's not too far from Toxin Square where we just were, but the people were very nice. The burger looks really good. Really nice looking, um, uh, Look, they look like McDonald's fries basically. Sesame seed, kind of like pretzel bun, Angus meat, a cheddar cheese sauce with onions, and then they've got a, a sauce on it as well that they call Grungy sauce. Three, two, one. It's very good. Way different than what we're used to on this channel. Not smashed. It's more of like an artisan burger. As you can tell, this bun is like really thick. The meat tastes really good. The sauce is delicious. It's like got a sweet, zesty taste to it. Very McDonald's-esque fries. They're okay. They definitely need some salt. This is a really good burger, dude. It's a much different taste than what we're used to. I'll go 7-5. I'll go 7-5 Grungy Burger Istanbul. Very inexpensive. I don't know if I've, if I've mentioned it yet. 10, Ten bucks for two, two burgers, one fry, and, and two, two drinks. sodas. $10 American. You, this is potentially one of the most affordable cities I've ever seen in my entire life. We're about to get on a Turkish Airlines flight back to London and then all the way back to Los Angeles. But before we leave, I gotta have some last words with my friend Enes here. Enes, sadece harika bir sürücü değil, aynı zamanda bir savaşçısın. Türkiye'yi harika bir şekilde temsil ediyorsunuz ve Amerika'dan size teşekkür ediyorum. 2000 lira dediğini biliyorum ama burada senin için biraz fazladan var. Umarım artık kardeşim olduğun için iletişimde kalabiliriz. Evet. Thank you. <laughs>
<laughs> You're a great man. Thank you, Ennis. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Abby. Abby. Thank you, Thank Abby. You, Abby. All right, guys, I'm back in Los Angeles now. Also, I should say this. I am dressed like Mr. Clean right now because George made me dress like Mr. Clean for a very fucking Dude. strange segment of his vlog, which is available over on his channel. <laughs> it's been three weeks since I had the, this hair surgery. I wanted to let it grow out a little bit to show you guys what it looks like. It's already starting to fill in. Hair's coming back. I have no pain whatsoever. Um, evidently, some of the the transplants are gonna fall out, if not all of them. It's this thing called shock loss. It happens and then the, the real ones grow in. It's been fantastic. There haven't been any complications. It's been really easy to, to take care of, to wash, to do everything. If you click the link in the description below, there's a link to the Smile Hair Clinic uh, request line to their WhatsApp. It will also give you 100 euros off their already ridiculously low pricing. I know a lot of you guys out there are thinking about doing the surgery. As soon as I started talking about it, people started hitting me up left and right about it. So if you have any interest in doing the procedure, learning more, uh, going to Istanbul, getting it done right and cheap. Click the link in the description. Next week we'll be back with an all new Night Shift episode that isn't about uh, getting hair implants. Uh, thank you so much for joining us for this wild fucking journey. I'll see you guys on next week's episode. Thanks for working late with us. We're clocking out. Peace. Yeah, so this is my yeah. last 28 days. Male audience is 90, 92.4%. Yeah. <laughs> Female audience, 7.3%. So all of these people are going bald. Yeah, literally, like if you were looking for someone that was like a good hair loss <laughs> ambassador, I might be the number one person to literally bro. I know all you guys are watching Andrew Tate right now on, on TikTok. Make no mistake, Andrew Tate is getting money. But is Andrew Tate getting real shmoney. So one of those is five bucks. Five bucks. Each one of these is five bucks. When we get to the hotel, scratch that. When we get to Asia, I'll actually present and it's with his tip. Fuck it, dude. I'll go crazy. I'll give him 600 lira. What do you think he'll do if I give him 600 That's lira? That's 30 bucks. Probably call his boss, go to work tomorrow, smack the shit out of him and say, I retire. I no longer have to fucking work for you, scumbag. Dude, Ennis is going to be the new Andrew Tate of Istanbul. He's going to start a TikTok channel.